Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 100. 100. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketas. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 310 subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So this has been a Fun week, happy first week of February. And happy week 100 to Keto on the Couch. How amazing is that? I still cannot believe we've been doing this for 100 weeks. And I remember when I came to you with the idea for doing this and you were like, this is the stupidest idea. Even, like, who who's going to watch us? Who would even want to see us? <laughs> like, that? that's crazy. But I have enjoyed it. And you know what else I like about this mm -hmm. is... I think it is officially time to move ourselves out of the classification of... Keto on the couch? No, inconsistency. I have labeled myself as inconsistent for a really long time. That Incon is true. Both in of us have. Inconsistent in my meal planning, inconsistent in my exercise regime, inconsistent as a human being. And this proves that we're not all that inconsistent. Yeah, we may be inconsistent with, we get at least five videos up a week, but it's not consistent every, which day it is, which we're working on. But we have not missed, not one week, no matter how sick we were. Sometimes we had to film it live, but we've always had it. And starting with this week's Kid on the Couch, if you are watching this currently when it first goes up. Hi. We are doing it as a premiere, which means if you watch Keto on the Couch every Monday morning, when it actually begins airing, when we set it to go up, you can live chat with us and the rest of our subscribers. Right now, I'm going to type hello. <laughs> I'm going to type hello right now, and you can see it, but it's live. I'm live. The video is taped, but I'm live. Hello. So we're going to do this as much as possible. Let us know down in the comment section if you like this, because we really did like live streaming Keto on the Couch, because we like the interaction with you guys. And honestly, it's easier on me, like no editing, but I understand some people want to yeah. see just like the comments and stuff and not have interruptions of the chat and everything. So now we kind of feel like this is the best of both worlds. Yeah. But I think moving forward, I'm going to stop. Like we always say, if, if the keto diet work for us, it w could work for anybody. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, if we can become consistent in our behavior, yep. then anybody can become consistent. So whatever it is that you're trying to be consistent in, you can do it. Now, we I believe you. Just become consistent with staying organized in my office. You can do it. Joe, you are no longer an unorganized, inconsistent person. I believe that you can do it. Okay, let's talk about our week. So obviously we've talked about before for the entire month of January, we ate only keto chow with some sort of fat. For most of the month I was doing with eggs. Food was back this week though, Food baby. Food was back this week. We broke our fast. In a great way. With uh, Texas Roadhouse Prime Rib. We have a vlog of that coming out soon. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So and, good. And the week has been interesting, reintroducing normal food to our lives. And it was kind of weird to see, like, the beginning of the month, my weight was high. I don't even know how high, because I refused to get on the scale on January 1st. Eh. Um, and then on January 10th, I know I was almost 300, 200, 300, oh my gosh, could you imagine that? That would 204 be 204 pounds. And then I got all the way down to 196. And then I reintroduced food, and about a week before, extra calories, and it started going back up. And now it's coming back down, but I'm eating more than I was even at the beginning of this last week. So That's it's great. really interesting, but we have a whole video coming on that. And I'm, I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about some of the things that I've learned from re leading, reading a lot of different articles and speaking with Bronson. But we're eating like delicious food right now. We're really enjoying ourselves. And um, I am very hopeful for the future. And I love the fact 
that we just keep learning more and more about our bodies, about nutrition. It's one of those things that it's like, it's not like you've arrived. Mm -hmm. Learning is just a constant thing that can continue the rest of your life. Yep. And I am excited about what 2021 will bring and how our keto journey will continue to evolve. Yeah. So we have a lot of recipe videos coming out um, probably one to two a week right now. Yep. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell button for notifications because also if this works out with the premieres on Keto on the Couch, we're probably going to premiere another one or two videos per week. So it's not just Keto on the Couch. Exactly. We, we want to do some extra things. We also want to give a special shout out to all of our Patreon members. We love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. There is a link for that down below. And we do have a Zoom call coming up. We're getting ready to schedule for you guys. So we really appreciate it. But I wanted to jump right in because Keto on the Couch, if you are new to our channel, and we do have 300 new subscribers since Welcome. last week. Welcome. Keto on the Couch is the episode where we briefly talk about what's going on with us, maybe bringing up something new. But for the most part, Keto on the Couch is about our subscribers. It started off a hundred episodes ago about mostly with us and reading a couple of comments. And it's kind of evolved into this is about you guys. It's about celebrating you and it's about answering any questions or comments that you may have. And we wanted to celebrate you guys with a little small giveaway. It's not just a big a little, thing, just a just little, little thing. Gift for a hunt to celebrate a hundred subscribe a hundred keto on the couches it's it's good to sometimes just take a moment and celebrate so here's what we are giving away we're giving away one of our blender bottles yes we're giving away a redmond real salt i guess you call these a salt cellar because we they're love my favorite these things now if you do want one of these and you don't win, um, down below in the description, there is actually a link for the Two Crazy Ketos Redmond Bundle. And this is in the bundle along with some of our other favorite products from Redmond. And it is really discounted when you buy the bundle. You don't have to buy the bundle over and over again, but if you want to like get this and get the salt to fill it up and like some of the things that we really like, it's a great gift idea for yeah. people. And so that's going to be in there along with, now this is our personal mug. But we're giving we didn't away. Lick it. We've got a sealed box. We yes. do have somewhere over there. Yeah. This is the Keto Chow mug cake box. Right. And it comes with the mug. It comes with four different flavors of Keto Chow and four recipe cards so that you could make mug cakes using Keto Chow. And the rest, of it, we've got, we're giving you the one where you can have all the different ones. And then in the future, you only have to like, you know, order some extra keto chow or yeah, something Yeah, because you'll like that. find flavors you love best. And that is a $30 value. So, uh, oh, by the way, keto chow, flavor of the week, chocolate toffee. <gasps> is that in honor of our 100th episode? Because that know, is that my favorite really cool. flavor. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm going to believe it. You know, my mom's birthday is July 4th mm -hmm. and her entire childhood, she fully believed that all fireworks were to celebrate her birthday. So I'm going to absolutely believe that it's chocolate toffee this week because, because we're having 100 episodes of Keto Thank you very much. Let's celebrate. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to be subscribed to the channel. You need to hit the like button on this video, which people ask us all the time, how can I help support the channel? Yeah. There's a few ways. Number one, you can use any of the affiliate links down below. Like if there's something that we talk about that we like, we have a link down below. And that puts a little bit of money to Two Crazy Ketos to help support us without costing you anything. Right. You can also click on any of our Amazon links, which are linked. There's a link for the page down below. And with those, if you click on that and then purchase anything. anything on Amazon, Give not even that paper. product. It throws a couple of pennies towards us. But at minimum, you know how you can help us? Simply by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button on the videos because that tells YouTube that you guys like it. It's in, They call it engagement. And then they recommend us to more people and then the channel grows and then we can get bigger and we can spend more time with you guys. Yeah. So that is the easiest way to help us is simply by leaving comments, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the like button. So hit the like button. And then you need to leave a comment down below, any comment that you want. Now, if you don't want to win, but you still want to leave a comment, like answer one of our questions we asked today, just put in part of your comment, hey, 
give it out, give it out to somebody else. Maybe right. you already got one and you want somebody else to have a chance to win. Other than that, the only other rule is you have to live in the United States. And we're sorry about that. So we're going to give it away. Obviously, we're going to pull the winner on the filming of next week's Keto on the Couch, which is on Saturday. So you have really until Friday night to Get leave your comment. In. Get yourself entered into the giveaway and we're going to give that away. Now, if you're interested in Keto Child, there is a link down below. That link will give you 10% off of everything that you purchase from the, when you go through there, except for subscriptions, okay? Right. Now, they also have their Chow Club box. And the Chow Club box, there's a separate link down there, which will get you 10% off of your first box. And then you also get other savings and stuff. Yeah. And we absolutely love Keto Chow. We use it all the time. We make recipes with it. It, it got did, us through January. It got us through the whole month of January. But now, I want to get right into comments. Because, again, we want to celebrate our subscribers. But first, let's take a short commercial break. Welcome back. I almost forgot. We went to commercial. We have a giveaway to do. <gasps> it's a keto crate box. We have to give away our keto crate. So let's do that right now. Okay. I'm going to pull up, pick a winner. Pick a winner. And uh, let me go ahead and see the screen because I can't because I'm old. Oh, that's all right. And let's see. We are going to go fetch. How many people want to try keto crate? Anything goes. Anything goes. 165 comments, and the winner is Melissa. Melissa Samples says, love Veggie Tales. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Oh, where is my hairbrush? I'm so blue, so blue, so blue. I don't know what to do. Belly button, ooh, ooh. We are the pirates who don't do anything. I know you're singing, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, Melissa, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information and also whatever email address you want Keto Crate to have. I will send all of that off to them and they will send you a box. Most likely, it is the March box that you will get. And please do us a favor, get us that information as soon as possible because we need to get that to them so that they don't stop giving us a box to give away. Yes. So you ready to get into the comments? Yes, please. So the first thing we have is our keto professor, our the keto college adjunct, adjunct professor, professor of the week. And this is somebody who left a comment in the you know Facebook family group that's just inspiring people. Yes. And uh, this one, we got a little picture that goes with it. I love this one. It was from Renee. Hey, Renee. And she said, never give up. It's never a failure, but a lesson learned. Remember your why and jump right back on that horse. You are your best investment. And it was a little meme that said, you're the greatest project that you will ever work on. That is so stinking wise. I love that. You're worth the investment. What you're doing, every choice that you're making this week, every time you get up and move, every ingredient that you put into, like you're worth the time. Mm -hmm. Make something delicious this week. You're worth it. Yeah. So now, if you don't know what our Facebook family group is, there's a link down below, and it's just a Facebook group that we have set up. There's no keto police allowed. If you're having any kind of issues, you send us an email at either Joe or Rachel at twocrazyketos.com, or you can reach out to one of the moderators, and we will take care of it. It's a place where we just want you guys to be able to go to share your experiences, your recipes, deals you find, maybe lift people up, but most importantly, you need to share your story. Yes. Because your story is going to impact somebody. There's somebody out there right now going, I can't do this and nobody else knows what it's like. And when you share their story, they're gonna be like, oh, somebody else has gone through this. I'm not by myself, I'm not alone. Yeah, so, and that's whether you've been doing keto for a day, a week, a month, or a year. You've got something that has changed. Maybe for the first time in your life, you've gone 24 hours without sugar. That is an accomplishment and we need to celebrate that. Yes, let's celebrate. Okay, so this week we have actually two subscriber of the weeks because I just couldn't choose. Why choose? Why choose? Let's celebrate them both. So the first one is from Barbara. Hey Barbara. Barbara said my starting weight 214 pounds, current weight 175. Wow. Down 39 pounds, my goal weight is 150. If I could have changed one thing about my life's journey, it would be to have done this sooner. Yes. I started in September because I was discouraged that nothing fit me right. My stomach was always bloated and I weighed more than I did when I was pregnant with my last baby. 
I never wanted to be overweight. It just happened. Yeah. I knew I needed to fix me. I love keto and why you ask? Because in four months, I've only exercised twice. <laughs> the weight I've lost fell off because I've taught my body to choose to eat fat over sugar yes. and I drink a ton of water every day. I have discouraging stall times, but hey, it all works out in the end. Here's to never going back to a junky lifestyle and keeping on the keto bandwagon for life. Whoa, you look incredible, girl. Is that awesome? Oh my goodness. Wow, hottie patati. That is stinking <laughs> awesome. Now, I love that you said that uh, the message here is don't wait. That's right. The one thing she regrets is I waited this long to do it. So mm -hmm. if you're even contemplating keto, just jump in. Yep. Let's do it. I mean, I love also that she said, like, I lost all this weight without exercise because that was a really appealing thing for me as well as somebody who was, like, not a huge exercise person. I lost weight. Now I exercise because I'm celebrating the ability to move. Right. right. So, yeah. Now, what I liked in there is where she said that, like, she has discouraging stall times, but she knows it works out in the end, and it is. It is very discouraging, and the biggest thing we want to say is, don't pay attention to the scale. Throw no. the scale out. It's and I know it is hard. And I'm getting on the scale right now every single day because we're doing some experiments and stuff. But I'm not looking at that number. I'm looking at all the other numbers this scale is giving me because we do have an in-body scale and it's giving me other numbers, which mean a lot more than that yeah. top number. It's just unfortunate that the top number is in big letters and then the other ones are in little tiny ones. Right. But you have to keep on because this is a long-term thing. You just want to look at the trend. Don't look at the day because the days are going to go like this. Yeah, they You're are. You're looking for the trend. So long as your days are kind of going like this. Wobble, wobble, wobble down. Okay, so we have one more. And this one is from Edward. Hey, Edward. He said, after 10 months with a 15-week weight stall, I am down 108 wow. pounds. I still have a few more pounds to go, though. I don't think so. Whoa, <laughs> Edward, you look incredible. He doesn't even look like the same person. No, Besides he the doesn't. fact that the beard is gone. I mean, you look wow. amazing. Wow. 108 pounds. Yeah. You that look is awesome. Incredible. Congratulations, I wanna, Edward. I want to high five him. Can I high five you? High five. But that's for you, Edward, <laughs> not for Joe. That's amazing. You guys are all doing awesome. Now, again, please. If you haven't done so yet, share your story down, down in our Facebook family group. It's going to impact somebody. If you don't have Facebook, you can email us your story at stories at twocrazyketos.com and this way we can share it there. We're not asking you to do it so that we have content. It's really because it's going to inspire somebody. It really will. So let's get into the comment from last week here on the channel. And the first one is from Laleybug. Hey, Laleybug. She says, oh my gracious, my husband is triggered by nut milk and coconut milk. He insists that it is not milk, it's juice. Pro <laughs> produce cannot produce milk. If I want to mess with him, I'll put almond milk into the conversation somehow. Yes, we need to call it nut juice because that is what it is. So um, we did start foaming up some nut juice yes. to top our coffee this week with our new like um, foamer frother thing. Right. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the nut juice in this new format. So we did a review the other day on the cereal, the Wonderlicious, whatever it's called, cereal. I yeah. already forgot the name of it, that you get at Walmart. Mm -hmm. I'll leave a link for that video up here. And we used almond milk in there. Nut juice. And, and nut juice. And somebody did leave a comment on that video that said, Rachel totally missed the opportunity to say that they were cereal. Nut juice. Balls. Mm, yes. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I miss. So you could have had the cereal balls topped with nut juice. Nut juice. Balls and nut juice. <laughs> <laughs> now we demonetize. Yeah. Now we're out. Okay. Next comment is from Oval. Hey, Oval. Oval said nut juice all the way. Growing up, my mom called cow's milk moo, moo juice. juice. In fact, she still does, and now I do too. I teach preschool, and I have the kids calling it moo juice. I also call water fish juice, just for fun. I actually love that. I think that is adorable. I mean, yeah. Now I'm going to start calling it moo juice also, just so for your 
just for 411. When you were growing up as a kid, did your mom try to convince you that chocolate milk came from brown cows? No. Because my mother did. Did anybody else have a I mother had a teacher tell, you, tell that. you that chocolate milk came from brown cows? Yes. It is amazing how many did people still believe that. Like, and I mean adult. No. Oh, yeah. Go, go Google it. Like, percentage of adults that believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. And we'll be taking that driver's <laughs> license back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one is from Bridget. Hey, Bridget. She says, I'm with Rachel. Chickens are pets. I have a mini pig and she is adorable. Chickens are food. Do you know how many times- And they times provide food. We've gotten this close to getting a pig, like this, this close several times. Like, we need to stop. We are not getting a pig. They're unless so cute, I can though. slaughter a pig. No! Oh my lord. Okay, next one is from Joe. Hey, Joe. Joe said, funny, I know that there is a difference between five and ten chickens. If you ask your code enforcement friend. Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. I think they'll tell you there's a difference. I Maybe they won't know that I have ten chickens instead of six chickens back there. Unless, oh, of course, Lord. you get two Hannahs at the same time. Who proclaims telling you everything. That, hey, I laid an egg for an hour. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> I laid an egg. We need to celebrate this. Next one is from Brianna. Hey, Brianna. She said, I don't do Facebook, but would love to do the love challenge. Maybe next week on Keto on the Couch, you can list each day's challenge from the previous week so us YouTubers can join in. Okay, so uh, I, I was thinking about this. It, it would make Keto on the Couch really long, and Keto on the Couch is already really long. <laughs> um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this onto the website. And we're going to put it in like a blog post and then we can, I don't know. We'll just have, you'll have to go to the website because we don't do a mailing list. We're thinking about starting a mailing list, but I have to figure out how to do all of that. Right. But right now we're having a big issue with our website. There was evidently an update to WordPress and an update and things aren't working right. And I can't edit things. I can't edit my recipe videos, my recipe cards anymore. So uh, I'll do the best we can. We'll leave a link for it. And what we'll do is we'll leave a link down in the description for Keto on the Couch for you to go to. But if we can do them all, we can kind of get the love do love challenges up on a day-by-day -day basis on the website. Yeah. If anybody knows anything about WordPress and, and writing websites help. and be willing to help us out, we really would like to SLS. redesign it. Get We have like over a hundred recipes we'd like to get on there, doing more videos. We'd like to get more into some daily vlogs. Rachel's got a whole thing of inspirational stuff. But we're but limited. But we need help because number one, I have limited knowledge. I mean, anything we have, I've done myself, but I don't have the knowledge to take it any further. Yeah. And uh, I also don't have the time to learn to get the knowledge to take it any further. So, so help us help others. If somebody <laughs> somebody knows anything about it and you want to help us out, um, please send us an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com. Okay, next one is from Christopher. Hey, Christopher. Christopher said, I wish I could eat at night sometimes. I just can't. I literally can't sleep. Wow. It takes a lot of hours after being a big meal for me to be able to lie down. I wake up not being able to breathe if I eat late or I eat big late at least. Wow. Uh, but this means I usually have to make sure that I have really large lunches so that I don't short myself on calories in the day. Wow. That is something that I have as well. So like I tend to eat late because of my schedule. But if I do eat too late, I do generally have a hard time going to bed, which is what results in me staying up till two or three o'clock in the morning, getting work done. And then Chris from Keto Chow sending me a message because he's two hours behind us. So I'm sending him text messages at like 11 o'clock. And you need to go to bed. And he's texting me about like, when are you going to go to bed? I'm like, well, it's only nine o'clock there. Why are you telling me to go to bed? <laughs> Why are you living like you're in Utah? Only sometimes I've sent him those messages at like midnight or 1 a.m. our time. So. Crazy, crazy. Well, that's interesting because we're all different. I, like if I eat at night, I am out like a log. It becomes like a rock and I'm just, I, it ensures I go to bed, so. It depends on how much fat you have in your meal sometimes. So if you have a really high fat meal, that fat can become energy. Whereas sometimes the protein, you know, it takes a little bit longer for your body to digest it and stuff. So you're not as ramped up. 
That's interesting. Okay, next one is from Cindy. Hey, Cindy. She says, this way of living is a journey. I don't think it matters what type of eating we may be following minus keto, but I've done all the 500,000 other ways in the past. And one thing they all have in common is that they are all a journey. Mm -hmm. Your beginning will look different than the middle. This is one reason we can't judge where others are because we are all journeying at different places. So be kind and supportive, especially with someone who is just starting out. Well, Cindy, you need to be like an extra adjunct professor of the week. I know, I know. Because that is such great, wise advice. Right. And sometimes when, you know, we're pedaling along and, you know, our resolve gets sore mm -hmm. in the journey, we can come sometimes lash out or be judgy of other people because we're, we're kind of frustrated in a moment. Right. I find that if I'm happy with myself and I feel like I'm right where I want to be, I have grace for everybody around me. But if I'm frustrated in the moment, then sometimes I can be a butt. Right. And so if I sense, am I, if I'm starting to have some kind of negative thinking about other people, I need to check myself because the reality is I probably I'm frustrated with myself a little bit. I need to rein it in because, and, and just be okay with myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, I look at that post and I was like, she's absolutely right. And we've said this all the time. Keto is not the only answer. The, you know what the only answer is? Dumping sugar, right? Yes. And all of the processed garbage that's out there. We can all agree the on over that. over chemical things. And I think pretty much anybody you know, or everybody can agree that none of that stuff is any good for us, no matter what diet you're on. But there are plenty of other diets. But again, like she said, it's like your journey and things change. I mean, we look at the ketogenic way of eating very differently now than when we got started. Number yeah. one, because we've seen changes in our bodies. We've seen how things react. There's also like new information and research that's come out on different things. Like when we first got started, Protein was the enemy, right? Everybody was talking about how gluconeogenesis and now more studies have been done and it's like, yeah, most likely you're not eating enough protein. Like you need to be upping that protein. But but so many people are still lack, like holding on to that thing of like, you can't have more than 20 grams of protein, but it's not true and it's actually hurting you, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So your journey at the end definitely looks like different than it was in the beginning. And that is why we are so into like, there is no keto police in the Facebook family group because everybody's in a different spot. I mean, really what are. I am willing to eat, other people aren't. And what other people are willing to eat, I'm not anymore. But we all have to figure things out for ourselves. And let's have grace during the journey for yeah. other people. Yeah. So next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. Gail said, Tabitha reminds me of my cat and my queen size bed. Every night I have to show, show her or shoo her off my side of the bed. I get in, then she waits for me to get in, settled in, then she hems me in between her and my weighted blanket to the point that I can't move. Aww. A whole big bed and she has to be on my side. Yep. What a fight. I'm so excited to see your exercises, exercising with Joe and Rachel. Sounds like a perfect new segment <laughs> for the channel. I don't know about that. Be a good comedy segment. It really would. I would definitely work out with Rachel. Aww. By the way, because of Fear Factor, I have decided to buy a can of corned beef to fry up in the frying pan. Nice. I have not had it since childhood, and I think it will do. I will do it with some sauerkraut, onions, and garlic. We're gonna see how it goes. I love that, Gail. I really hope that not only do we encourage you, because that really is our desire to encourage you and celebrate you and cheer you on, and make sure that you're focused on the the fact that you're beautiful and precious and worth this investment, just like Renee had said earlier. But I also want to inspire you to try something new because mm -hmm. we've got to, we're getting out of an old mindset of what we used to eat and the way we used to react. You don't have to try tarantulas. You don't have to try tarantulas, but maybe if you thought before, like I would never eat dark meat chicken. Like before this, I never ate thighs and I never ate dr drum legs. Right. Just never did it. And it wasn't until keto that I, I tried those cuts of meat. So like try something new. And I would love to find out what is something that has inspired you because we've done Keto Fear Factor to try something weird. I would love to find out. Has anybody else tried something weird because of Keto Fear Factor. It's funny, the other day I was on Autumn from Watch Autumn Keto. I'll leave a link for her channel up here. Uh, and uh, she was talking about our Fear Factor because it, her and Richard were talking about something. I don't remember quite what it was. Somebody will remind me. 
And I said that like, that's, oh, they were talking about like frog legs and stuff. And I was like, well, that's, that needs to be a fear factor. And she's like, oh no, like I've seen you guys. Like, yeah, I just don't have the desire to do that. So if anybody's curious to so the fear factor is something we do when we go camping. And it really did come from the whole idea of like Dr. Barry talking about like, you can do keto on hot dogs and mustard and yeah. eating cans of sardines and eating canned meats. They may not have the cleanest ingredients, but you can do it. Like you don't. You can still eat Vienna sausages and do keto. And if that's all that's available, it's still better than going to McDonald's and getting the chicken nuggets that have like 50 ingredients in them. Well, because it really is our heart's desire to help um, remove some of the obstacles to trying keto. So for some people, it is what is available. For some people, it is their budget. For some people, it's how, how much time do I have to make this meal? So whatever the obstacle is that is stopping somebody from even trying the keto diet, we try to speak to that. So our recipes, we try to make them easy and fast. And when we do the keto fear factor- That's just fun. That's just fun. Like it can, there's lots of variety out there. That's kind of the message of that. And we need to be kind of like culinary adventurers sometimes. Yeah. So next one is from Lucy. Hey Lucy, she says, more ideas on how to spend the over-the-counter CVS money is Epsom salt. You're yep. so right. To soak your feet or take a relaxing bath, a foot spa, an electric toothbrush, or a water pick. That those is are great idea. Those are like great. Like luxuries that you would never spend your own money on, right? Exactly, because a water pick can be kind of pricey, but they are super cool. Yeah. And if you've got extra money, that's just like you have to spend it at CVS. Why not? Yeah. Okay, next one is from Keto Jim. Hey, Keto Jim. He said, I'm right there with you, Joe. This is the least restrictive, uh, healthy way of eating, although you do have to make sure to watch your intake. But eating the right types of foods, you can fall below your macros. This lifestyle really retrains your whole way of thinking when it comes to food. To me, the weight loss is a bonus since I'm almost at my two-year ketoversary wow. in March. The health benefits I've experienced just with my mobility and no more pills for anything like heartburn, digestive issues, even my high blood pressure, and just my overall feeling, I no longer have the sluggish feels in the morning I did pre-keto. That's awesome. For me, the first year was my adjustment and training period and a tough one. But like my dad told me as a child, I'll pass this on to whoever needs to hear it. Don't knock it till you try it. I love that. That is great advice. You know, the two greatest abilities that anybody could have is teachability and availability. Mm -hmm. So teachability means that we can change our way of thinking. I am not so locked in the way I've been doing things that I can't change. Right. You know, we talked on our live stream this week about like, you know, we all have the same vocabulary, but sometimes you have a different dictionary. And there was a point in time where transportation meant a buggy or a covered wagon. Right. And it was okay that now it doesn't mean that anymore. For a lot of people, it means going in a car or mm -hmm. going in a plane, yeah. right? That is that is moving forward. That's good that we can be we can learn new things. And then also availability, which means that once I've learned something new, I'm available to help others. Mm -hmm. And I think both of those abilities are really awesome. You know what else is available to people? That little like button down below. <laughs> and also, you know, there's not a lot of things that are free in life. Yeah. You know what's free? What? Subscribing to the channel. Because <laughs> hey, you know the thing is is like Hey, I watch Twitch sometimes. Like the boys are way into Twitch thing. If you yes. want to subscribe to a Twitch streamer, wow. you have to pay them usually. There's like a fee to subscribe to them, but there's no fee on YouTube. How so cute are you? do us a favor, go down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, because it does help build the channel. And while you're doing that, we're going to take another commercial break and then come back with the rest of our comments. And we're back. Okay, so the next one is from Janice. Hey, Janice. She said, okay, Joe, tell me what you think. I get up on Wednesday through Sunday at 1.30 a.m. and I have a fat coffee. Work starts at 4 a.m., break is at 6, I usually drink a Coke Zero, lunch is at 9, I drink a Keto Chow. I get off of work at 1. I get a meal, low carb around 3. I always have total carbs for the day, less than 20 carbs. Bedtime is at 6. On Monday and Tuesday, my days off, I have two eggs and three strips of bacon. Lunch is around two. I am not losing much weight. Can you explain why? 
Ooh. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot going on here, but just, and I read this like three times when I was putting in the kid on the couch. I'd love you to email us because I know you've been around for a long time. We really want to help we you through. We love you. But just reading this, Janice, I don't think you're eating enough. I don't And either. I know that sounds really weird unless there's a bunch of stuff that you're not eating that you didn't put in here i don't think you're eating enough so something that was going on with me i started the beginning of the year on keto chab and again i don't know what i weighed from january 1st to january 10th because ignorance was bliss i do know what i weighed on december 26 before we went away with the kids okay and i was 206 pounds okay I was not eating a lot. I was having three keto chows a day with four tablespoons or three tablespoons of butter. So I was eating like 1,400 calories. I should have been dropping a lot of weight, but I wasn't. I was eating 50% of the protein that I'm supposed to be eating. When I doubled my protein, the weight started coming off. I started slimming down. I actually started putting on muscle without even doing a tremendous amount of weightlifting or anything like that. So I really think, Janice, you, you're probably not eating enough. And I know that's a scary thing to hear, but trust me on this. Like you need to like start looking at what are you eating and then maybe even looking at times and stuff. But I'm not even talking about like intermittent fasting. I think you probably are not eating enough protein. So. Yeah. But send us an email. We can see if we can help you out. So the next one is from Pat. Hey, Pat. She says, I was just thinking, why is there no such thing as peanut butter keto chow? We could make peanut butter frappuccinos, peanut butter cookies, peanut butter ice cream, and of course, peanut butter and jelly <laughs> by mixing in some extracts or a little good, good jam. So it's funny. Um, I've messaged Chris about this. And he said he had thought about it, but he did nothing with it. But I've invented peanut butter keto chow. And there is a recipe video for it linked right here. And it is super easy to make. I mean, until Keto Chow comes out with one, I'm telling you, we were eating this for half of the month of January. This is a good placeholder. And it became, I think, our favorite, especially when it came to making our protein custard. It is so delicious. You need to go watch that video. I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. Okay, so next one is from Robin. Hey, Robin. She said, I bought chocolate peanut butter bricks a week ago, and I'm wondering how to use them. I did taste it, and I love the taste. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So I'm assuming you're talking about the keto bricks, and uh, a lot of people, I use them as a meal or a half a meal. I'll, I'll like cut one in half, and like that's what I'm going to eat, especially when I'm on the road. Some people just use them like as a fat, a, bomb. The fat bomb, a like dessert thing to go with their meal. They want a little bit of sweetness, but they also want to have a little bit of fat to help sustain them to the next meal. So you can melt them down. We actually have a video on how to melt them down. I'll put a link over Rachel's head. Uh, the biggest thing that I would say when you go to melt them down, and I don't think we say it in the video, is as you're melting them down, when you're pouring stir. them, stir it. Otherwise the salt gets to the bottom and you get like a salty bite every time you know you eat Although into I one. Although I kind of love that. Yeah, I know you like that. But yeah, Not so everybody. a lot of people use them as fat bombs or just is a good like on the go meal kind of thing. Uh, next one is from Lori. Hey Lori. She says, okay, I started keto low carb a month ago. Well, welcome. As of today, I'm down 10.5 pounds. Wow. I'm not happy with that, LOL. Wait, what Lori? <laughs> But I'm still learning. What I am happy about is that I have had no sugar for a month. This is huge for me as I am the biggest sugar addict I know. Nothing white at all for a month. Wow. My, my insides feel clean. If that is even a thing, it is absolutely a thing. And imagine if I lose 10 pounds a month for a year, I would be really happy with that. Okay, I've got this. Okay. First of Lori, all. Lori, Lori, <laughs> Lori, wait a second. You've lost 10 pounds. Let's let's forget the rest. You've lost 10 pounds Can in a month. we just have a party for that? A really good weight loss is two pounds, is one to two pounds a week. And that is a really good weight loss. On average, you should lose a half a pound to a pound a week. So you've doubled, you've more than doubled that, yes. right? You've lost two and a half pounds a week. That is incredible and should be celebrated. You're also Second of all, no longer letting sugar tell you what to do. Yes. Sugar does not determine the events of your day anymore and for an entire month. Yeah. 
you need to celebrate those two things. And, and again, be happy with 10 and, 10 and a half pounds is incredible, huge, especially for a woman. I mean, you're going to see all the time. Men tend to lose pounds faster than women, but women lose inches faster than men. And I'm going to tell you, this is something I've struggled with. Like, again, I just got off the phone the other day with Bronson and was like, Bronson, wait a second. You need to help me because like, I'm ready to just tell you this doesn't work. Because I started with you on the 10th and I weighed 200 and almost four pounds. And now it was like the second or third, I dropped to 196 and then I did what you told me to do. And now I'm back up and I'm at 202, 203. I'm like, okay, so it's a one pound difference in almost a month. And he's like, well, let's look at the rest of the stuff. And he's like, well, you gained five pounds of muscle. And that's a thing. You know, you lost six pounds of fat. So he's like, let me ask you something, Joe. It's not if the same anymore. you were to maintain the same exact weight right now, but be several sizes smaller, would you be happy? I'm going to ask you the same question. If you don't lose another pound, yes, not one pound, but you're off your medications, you're no longer a sugar addict, and you go down two or three sizes, would you be happy? Yeah. And that's a hard decision because I know even Rachel for a long time would be like, no. No, it's, I need I'm, a number. I'm defined by that number. You're not though. But that number is nothing. I'll give you the number to focus on. One, you're number one. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on that. You're awesome. And I'm glad that you're coming to us at the beginning of your keto journey because I can tell you right now and save you a lot of hassle. Throw the scale out right now and grab yourself a um, Taylor's tape measure and every single week track your progress with photographs of yourself in the same outfit and by measurements because you are going to change measurements way before you change the movement like on the scale. I'll tell you what, Lori, you send me an email at Joe at Two Crazy Ketos with your mailing address. We we'll will send, send you a Two Crazy Ketos tape measure. Okay. Yes. Send us an email with your address and we will send that tape measure out to you. Just throw the scale out. Yeah, because if you have in your mind that I'm only going to be happy if I lose 10 pounds a week, when that stops but you're losing any Inches, you're going to be really frustrated. So, and if yeah. you take a sledgehammer to the scale and send us a picture of you doing it, I'll send you a 2KK stainless steel blender bottle. There you go. Okay. Deal? Next one is from Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Carrie said, I have hit a fat loss plateau and just started limiting all the extra daily keto snacks, such as Built Bars, Fat Snacks, Crackers, Smart Cakes, and Zip Fizz, in order to cut down to 20 total carbs a day. I'm doing Dr. Westman's Keto Made Simple program to do a reset. I've also been trying to make sure I get plenty of protein in because I'm starting to do more resistance training a couple times a week. So I tried an egg in my iced coffee today and oh my, Yay. I would have never been able to tell the difference. Now I don't feel bad about the whipped heavy cream that I have on my keto chow custard. Thank you, Joe. Aw, don't you love that? I've started a trend, right? I, I mean, love it's it. not something I started. Lots of people have always put eggs in their in their drinks, but I don't think people really were thinking about it with the keto chow. But it is really delicious, and it is amazing the way the egg just emulsifies and becomes like cream in your coffee. And we're just tickled if there's any way that we can help support what your goals are for yourself. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Callie. Hey Callie, she says, I've been fasting the last three days and that's when I usually quit. I start out saying I'm gonna do it all week and then I don't make it past day three. I've decided no more close enough and I'm gonna do it until Friday. <laughs> that Super is awesome. Super proud of you, that is awesome. Okay, next one is from Sherry. Hey Sherry. She said, today, officially overweight, no longer obese Yay! per BMI, which I know is controversial. Please don't lecture me on this. Not lecturing at all. I love it moving to a different level, whatever the category is. I remember the day that I didn't have to buy an outfit that had a W mm -hmm. on the on the end of my number and I got to move to a different section of the store. We celebrate all of those things. That's, That's incredible. Right. Way That's to go. That's right. Uh, next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. Uh, she said, today down 21 pounds and three belt wow. notches. Wow. Started this way of eating on December 27th, and I feel so much better. I'm enjoying my keto chow every other day for breakfast. What is your favorite breakfast on the go? 
I get up at 4.30 a.m., I leave for work by 5.45, trying to find things that are easy grab and go for me to eat at about 10 a.m. Well, we love keto bricks. Mm -hmm. We love keto chow. Those are easy, like make ahead or, or have it and just grab it, walk out the door with it. Um, we've been making like egg bites yep. too at home. Um, Hard boiled eggs. Uh, you can also get some like pieces of cheese and wrap some pepperoni or some yes. salami around them. Um, you can pre-make some sausage and eggs. Like I know Rachel's not a huge fan of like purse scrambled bacon. eggs. Purse bacon. Purse bacon. So there's a lot of different things. But that is one of the reasons we love Keto Chow because we, we do live a busy lifestyle and sometimes it's just nice to have those to grab on the way out the door. The, the key is really meal prepping. So if, if you don't have that lot of time in the morning is to just... Make yourself some eggs ahead of time. Maybe make yourself some like some type of a pancake. And by pancake, I'm not even talking about like pow powdered, uh, battered pancakes. I'm talking about like you get some like eggs and cream cheese and you mix them together in a blender and you turn that into a pancake. It's like a keto pancake. They're yeah. super filling. And very easy to make. Yep. And then you can wrap that around some like sausage. We actually have a sausage recipe coming out that you can make it's at really home. It's really good. And great for meal prep. Okay, next one is from Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. She says, who here does not drink coffee? Sorry, Rachel, but yes, we do exist. And if you drink tea, do you do fat in your tea in the mornings? Looking for recommendations on how to make it. MCT oil is a no-go. Well, I'll do it if I want it to come back up immediately and not eat the rest of the day. <laughs> So you can absolutely turn tea into like a bulletproof tea sure. if you're looking for cream. In fact, when I used to drink a lot of tea, I always put cream in it. I always wanted like, it, I know people would look at me like I'm weird, but I just like tea with a little bit of milk or cream in it. So you can absolutely do that. Well, and also, I mean, you can also do like a bone broth, a mm -hmm. bullet bone broth by yep. adding some like, if you if you enjoy that savory flavor, those are delicious. I mean, we do a breaking a fast bone broth, mm -hmm. but I mean, you can just put butter inside of like kettle and fire and yep. blend it up really good and it's very tasty. Yep. So we have one more and it's from Linda. Hey Linda. Linda said, hi, I'm on my third try with keto. I know it works and I'm trying to be committed. I've been on it for three weeks this time and I've lost seven pounds. Way to go. Eating this way is fine. I enjoy the food and I am full, but I still crave. It's exhausting. I found your YouTube channel a couple of nights ago while looking at Keto Chow. I follow a few others and have reviewed many more. You guys are amazing. You're Aww. knowledgeable, positive, and funny. I'm hooked on watching you. Thank you for your Facebook group and for your time. Well, Linda, we are so incredibly glad that you're here. And just so you know, I am on my own Keto Journey 2.0. So like, we didn't drop out. We're back in it and you have what it takes to be consistent. Like we've proven we can do a hundred episodes of Keto on the Couch. So, and we were the most inconsistent people. So like you can do this, we believe in you. Mm -hmm. And as far as having cravings and snacking, you know, one of the things that I would do right off the bat is when I feel like eating something, eat yourself a, a high protein snack because you're just wanting to eat something and, and that is a way to get you full in the moment without derailing your plans for the rest of the day. Yeah. And as far as some of the cravings, some of them are going to go away. And a lot of it, I, I don't want to seem, seem insensitive, but a lot of it is mental. It's battling through. It's it's like some fasting. 50% or more of fasting is a mental game. And so the longer you do this, the more you're going to find those cravings go away and they're going to get substituted with like, instead of craving a candy bar, you're going to crave bacon yeah. or a meat stick or cheese or something like that. Also, if you're having a lot of sugar cravings, a lot of times you're actually craving salt. So what I would say is every time you're, you think you're craving sugar, uh, Get a salt lick, like you can use the Redmond salt rocks or something like that, Which or put a little, a little bit of your salt hand. in your hand and Good lick salt. on that. And a lot of times you're going to find that that will actually satisfy a sugar craving. Yeah. Well, that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. We really appreciate you guys. We appreciate you sticking with us for a hundred episodes of Keto on the Couch. We love you so much. Again, let us know down in the comments section if you like the whole premiering thing where you can chat with us when the show actually premieres. Also, don't forget about our Thursday night live stream, which is every Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. You know what I'm going to type right now? What? I love you guys. 
Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there are 99 other Keto on the Couches, which you can watch right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next week. Bye. Bye.